Well, Ross, thanks for joining us. Not the result the faithful would have wanted. Certainly not. Not the, not the result me and the staff and the players would have wanted either. I think um, we don't want to. We don't want to lose any game of football. Uh, and our intention tonight was to try to come and win this one. Um, and we didn't. And I was disappointed with the manner in which we conceded the two goals. It's a hell of a free kick and, and a, a misfortune, but it's still disappointing. And then obviously the way that we give the ball away for the first one is obviously a, a real frustration as well. But at the same time, I think it's important to put it into perspective in terms of the amount of changes that we made tonight. You know, some people can say to me we shouldn't have made that amount of changes, but I think there's a number of players there that deserve the opportunity. And I think there's a number of players there tonight that took the opportunity. Um, so, um, yeah, disappointed, disappointing evening for, for everyone in terms of the result. But I think there's a lot that comes out of it that um, that we'd be that we'd be pleased with. Could have been different had it been that Jamie Turley didn't see red. Have you got any argument with the decision? None whatsoever. Um, don't know if Jamie sort of misjudges the first one, but no, no no argument whatsoever with a red card. Should there have been a penalty late on? One hundred percent, yes. Um, I think that the officials know that there should have been a penalty because um, one of the things that they give us in the briefing before a game is speak to us, communicate us. You know, it's all a token gesture, really, in terms of some of the things that get said to you. Because then when you ask a question, it doesn't get answered. And it took the fourth official seven and a half minutes to tell me why it wasn't a penalty. Um, and he said it was because he got shot away. I don't really know if that should be an issue. If you're in the box and you're trying to score a goal, but you're being fouled, you're still going to try and get the shot away. You don't give up the opportunity. Um, blatantly pulls him on the floor as Danny, uh, as Danny Johnson is turning and rolling to, to finish it. Um, Danny Johnson's as honest as the day comes and I've just said to him in there, is it a penalty, Dan? And he, I can feel the frustration in him. He almost couldn't even answer me other than saying yes, of course. So, um, blows me away. Uh, and like I say, for me, the fact that they couldn't give us an answer in the game, didn't really want to answer the question at the end of the game, pretty much tells me that they made a mistake. But obviously, we know that um, nothing will get done and nothing will get said about it. And we'll all have to disappear into the future with a frustration. He wasn't on the bench on Saturday, but Jordan Maguire drew looked very sharp tonight. Yeah, I thought he was excellent first half. And then obviously we had to move him once once uh, Jamie Turley got sent off. So I was frustrated for Jordan because he didn't give him an opportunity to, to build on that... Um, really positive first half that he had so yeah like I, like I sort of started with really Jordan will be one of those players that well I've just said it to him at the end there there's no point in me saying to you great opportunity tonight um, for, for us as a team to build and, and get better and improve and I think we improved tonight on Saturday's performance but for a number of you individuals to make your mark and a number of in, individuals including Jordan Maguire Drew certainly made their mark this evening and I would imagine young Hector and uh, Wilson Turio will be amongst those as well yeah, I think there was, like I said, there was a few. I think um, great that the world gets 90 minutes. You know, take almost remove his performance at the moment. I, said to, I think I said to you at the weekend that um, we haven't got any reserve football at the moment. So it's very, very hard to get people physically up to scratch. Training doesn't do that. So we've almost, it's not a reserve game that you view it, view it upon, but in terms of the minutes that we gave Lee, uh, for, see him stretching and, 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 and um, you know, stretching certain areas this this evening which was which has led to why we sort of brought him off a little bit earlier than we first planned so delighted that Ruel got through the 90 minutes I thought his performance was was good I thought he bounced back from giving the ball away for the goal as well so delighted with that I thought Hector was outstanding in the first half and the fact that um, I can move him to centre half as well and he showed uh, real responsibility um, good attitude to defend and, and, and qualities on the ball as well so um, like I say didn't really want to single too many out, but to answer your question, certainly they're, they're, they're definitely another two of them. Is Joe with a snow cane? Uh, he rolled his ankle. Pitch is terrible down this side of the pitch, Dave. We know notoriously that, um, that we have that problem every year. Uh, but you would have seen in the first half that, that Ruel went down a few times. Craig Clay slipped in this area of the pitch. So it's very mushy. It's not a great, great surface to, to turn on. Forget about trying to play football on it. Uh, and Joe rolled his ankle just before half time so extremely frustrating that, uh, that our pitch has, has led to an injury to uh, to one of our players so we'll have to see how that one settles down in the morning The yellow cards are adding up now aren't they? Yeah, uh, yes they are to answer your question but I think I don't know how these I mean I don't know how many bookings there was 9, 10 bookings across the two teams tonight How? I, I mean Jamie Turley yeah deserves a red card I think there was a late tackle on Brof in the corner there but there's yellow cards being given out tonight for 
absolutely no reason whatsoever. It's beyond me. So, yes, you're right. There's too many yellow cards. And it's a conversation that we had yesterday um, after the weekend that petulance let us down at the weekend on a number of levels. And, and we can't afford to give bookings away on that front. But tonight, I, I find it hard to analyse because I just think there's yellow cards being thrown around for absolutely no reason whatsoever for us and for Bristol Rovers. There's only a 1,000 here, but they made themselves known. How much of a difference did it have to have the faithful back? What I would like to say is I could feel the the appreciation of everybody. You know, I could feel the fact that the boys were happy that there was people back in the ground again. I could feel that when the game kicked off and people were trying to make a noise, we, you know, it's great to hear that. It's great to feel those people back around us again. Really disappointed that we didn't send everybody away with a positive result, but I think it was a positive performance. Um, I went to the Cambridge game last week and there was 2,000 in the ground, so I can't wait for us to have 2,000. I really want us... Um, to make this place tough for oppositions. You know, opposition managers keep saying to me, you know, the Northern clubs especially, we're not going to have teams in here, but we think that might work to our advantage. Well, let's make this place for, to make this an advantage for us. You know, we've had good home form, certainly since my, um, since my position was made permanent last year. So, let, you know, let's continue to build on that. Let's do that bit together. Let's, let's make sure that we really make this place a tough place to come. I always say to you, Dave, that as a group of players and a group of staff, we have to energise our crowd. But at the same time, I really want to feel that excitement of people coming back. It's not the same anymore. It's different. It's different experience watching football together. But I really hope that together we can make this an enjoyable place to be, an enjoyable place to watch football and a, and a tough place for opposition to come. Because it should be a special occasion of the league leaders. And of course, there's that connection with Justin Edinburgh. Of course there is. Yes, that's right. And that'll always be the case. I've got a lot of time for Flinney. Um, I'm sure he felt the loss of Justin in a very similar way to, to myself because he worked with him um, him and Wayne Hatswell are really good people and I'm really pleased to see the start to the season that they've got off to but I'd really like to beat them at the same time um, you know they'll be coming here we'll always have that connection with them Flinney was great with me when, when Justin passed he was on the phone on a number of occasions offering his support knowing that I didn't know if I was really coming or going and stepping into the job that I was stepping into. So I'll always have time for him for that. But at the same time, like I say, we'll want to we'll want to win the game. But I want to make this this place a really exciting place to be at the weekend for all of us, so that we can uh, continue our good form here and uh, and get ourselves a, a win and back on track in the league. Looking forward to it. Thank you very much, Ross. Thank you.